when you dig in the ground, you might expect to find some dirt, worms, and maybe a few stones. Nothing interesting anyway. But the more you dig, and the deeper you dig, the more exciting the finds can sometimes be. From a mass grave of Vikings to an ancient shipwreck in good condition, here are 20 excavations that found mysterious and terrifying things. Number 20. Japanese and Soviet Soldiers you might think that World War II is over and done with, but that's not actually the case between Russia and Japan regarding the Kuril Islands for two reasons. First of all, the two countries still dispute rifle ownership of the southern Kurils, preventing them from finalizing a formal World War II peace treaty. And, second of all, the remains of both Japanese and Russian soldiers were found there as recently as 2014. Defense Ministry archaeologists found the remains of soldiers while they were on an expedition to Shumshu's Kuril Island. Here, a battle was fought some 70 years ago. Defense Ministry spokesman Alexander Gordeyev said they discovered the remains of 10 Soviet army soldiers and 5 Japanese soldiers. The Soviet soldiers' remains were transferred to the North Kuril's municipal administration for burial, while the Japanese soldier remains would be heading back to Japan. But the expedition uncovered more than just human remains. Archaeologists also discovered an American fighter jet that the Soviet soldiers flew during the war, two Japanese trains, and a Japanese car me amphibious tank. But digging on the island is about more than just uncovering World War II remains. An international team of Russian, Japanese, and American researchers and students have also been examining the human environmental interactions on the Kuril Island chain, dating back at about 5,000 years. They aim to investigate human settlement and abandonment records and survey evidence of volcanic eruptions, tsunamis, earthquakes, temperatures, and marine conditions. Number 19. A granite sarcophagus in Egypt. Tombs are found in Egypt all the time, so finding one in Alexandria off Egypt's north coast isn't really all that noteworthy. Another one? Great, cool. But one discovered in 2018 was different for many reasons. A distinct black granite coffin stood out because it was absolutely massive. It was 72.8 inches tall, 104.3 inches long, and 65 inches wide, making it the largest coffin ever discovered in Alexandria. It was also found with a massive alabaster head, which experts believe might represent whoever was buried in that large coffin. However, we don't have any solid proof about that just yet. According to Egypt Ministry of Antiques spokesperson Ayman Ashmawi, it was a fascinating find. He said the mortar layer between the lid and coffin was still intact, which meant it hadn't been opened since it was first sealed at least 2,000 years ago. Finding a sealed coffin might not seem like a big deal, but it is. Ancient Egyptian tombs are often plundered, with people looking for precious items. This one hadn't been touched until it was discovered when a site was being cleared for a new building. Experts believe it dates right back to the Ptolemaic period, 305 BCE to 30 BCE, and the coffin was found around 16.4 feet below the ground. Number 18. Death Whistles Today, whistles are nothing more than fun toys for children and essential tools for sport games. But hundreds, and perhaps even thousands of years ago, whistles were a bit less fun and a bit more... morbid. Let's talk about death whistles. We first discovered them in Mesoamerican burial tombs. Flutes, whistling vessels, and whistles were all quite commonly found across Central and South America. Most of them are 1,000 years old or less and are believed to come from Mayan and Aztec regions. The term we know today, death whistle, was coined by engineer Roberto Valesquez Cabrera in the 1990s when he was studying Mesoamerican clay instruments. Towards the end of the 1990s, archaeologists also found a 20-year-old man who had been sacrificed at the Tlatelolco archaeological site in Mexico City. The man had one human skull-shaped whistle in each hand. Archaeologists think that they were most often used during sacrifice rituals and sometimes for regular burial. 
burials. The dearly departed might have needed them to get into the spirit world. Roberto also theorized that they were reserved for sacrifices and might have been blown before the victims were killed to guide their souls into the afterlife. The next time you blow a whistle for fun, you won't be able to help but think of death. Sorry about that. Number 17. Viking Mass Grave have you ever watched Game of Thrones and wondered, whatever became of all the men and women slaughtered in battle and various villages for different reasons? Well, every now and again, we stumble across what is left of them. When the Weymouth Relief Road was being built in Dorset, the UK, in 2009, about 50 skeletons were found at Ridgeway Hill in an old quarry pit. All 50 of the bodies had been decapitated, with the bodies thrown into shallow graves and the heads organised in a neat pile. It was absurd. Some of them actually are now on display in the British Museum. According to Oxford archaeology archaeologists, it was an exciting and disturbing find, and a scientific analysis revealed that it was a mass grave for executed Vikings. They would have been stripped of their clothing, and some had defense wounds indicating that they didn't all die without a fight. Most men were between 18 and 25 years old, while one was in their early to mid-teens and another was over 50. While they would have come from anywhere in Britain, they would have originated from the Arctic and sub-Arctic parts of Russia, Belarus, Iceland, Sweden, Norway, and the Baltic states. It's believed that the approximately 50 or 51 men would have been a captured raiding party, and the violent deaths were indicative of the fierce struggles between the Norse invaders and the Anglo-Saxons. Number 16. Moa Claw. A little over 30 years ago, archaeologists were exploring caves on Mount Owen in New Zealand's Tasman district in the South Island where they found something extraordinary. A claw from something that looked like a dinosaur. It was so well preserved that it still had muscles and flesh attached to it. After some investigations, it was revealed that it was about 3,300 years old and belonged to a now extinct bird called a moa. Moa went extinct around 700 to 800 years ago after having first lived about 8.5 million years ago, and there used to be about 10 different species of them. These majestic birds once stood at about 12 feet tall and weighed 510 pounds, but some of the smaller species were the same size as a turkey, and even though they were birds, and birds can fly, the Moa couldn't. Scientists have long wondered why these huge birds went extinct, and it probably was wasn't a coincidence that they went extinct around the same time humans arrived in New Zealand. After the near perfectly preserved Moa's claw was found, some experts speculated whether the Moa might be a candidate for cloning since DNA could be extracted from the claw. As many of the plants it lived on are still around today, it might also stand a renewed chance of survival. Japanese geneticist Anko Yasuyuki Shirota has already extracted DNA from moa remains and intends to introduce them into chicken embryos. We might see moas roaming New Zealand in the next half a century. Number 15. Dragon Man it's easy to assume that the humans we have today are, are all there have ever been. Sure, we've evolved a little over time, but could there have been another ancient human species? Yes, absolutely. In 2021, Chinese researchers released information about an ancient skull that potentially belongs to previously unknown human species. Those researchers even claimed that it might be our closest evolutionary ancient human species. It was nicknamed the Dragon Man, and allegedly belonged to a group of humans that once lived in East Asia around 146,000 years ago. The skull was found in Harbin in China's northeast in 1933, but we only learned more about it recently. According to human evolution expert Professor Chris Stringer, it's one of the most important discovered fossils in the last million years. The skull represents a separate branch of humanity that evolved in the area for many hundreds of thousands of years before going extinct. The skull was massive compared to the average human skull, but its brain would have been comparable to ours. It also had nearly square eye sockets, a broad mouth with big teeth, and thick brow ridges. According to experts, it's one of the most complete early human skulls ever found. Number 14. Ice Age Mammoth Bone Structure 
In 2020, archaeologists found a mammoth structure of mammoth proportions. Literally, it was a huge structure, yes, but it was actually made of mammoth bones from the Ice Age. A huge circular structure consisting of the skeletons of at least 60 mammoths was found at the Kostensky Borshevo archaeological complex on the Don River. While similar structures have been already been unearthed here in the four decades prior, this recent discovery means we can take advantage of modern scientific techniques to learn even more than ever before. The structure was about 41 feet in diameter and is believed to date back around 25,000 years ago, which was the peak of the last ice age. Back then, communities primarily consisted of mobile hunter-gatherers. After an in-depth exploration exercise, archaeologists found that the structure had 64 mammoth skulls and 51 lower jaws, and these were used to build the walls of the enormous 30 foot by 40 foot structure. A number of other animal bones were also found, like the arctic fox, wolf, bear, red fox, horse, and reindeer. As it would have been challenging to add a roof for shelter, it's believed the structure would have been used for food storage or perhaps ritual ceremonies. Number 13. Roman Crucifixion Evidence it's not often we find evidence of crucifixion. In fact, there have only been about three other cases of it discovered in the world. However, the very first evidence of crucifixion in the UK was found in a village in Cambridgeshire in England's east in late 2021. Archaeologists were digging in the village of Fenstanton in a known Roman site when they found human remains from about 48 to 51 people and some animals. While the bones and teeth suggested they have endured poor living conditions, one skeleton stood out from the crowd. A skeleton belonging to a man between the ages of 25 and 35 contained a nail in his foot. It was possible that the man was crucified. While the Romans had already banned crucifixion as an execution method for citizens, it wasn't a blanket ban. It didn't extend to enslaved people. However, the man had been buried somewhat respectfully, which ruled him out as an enslaved person. At first, researchers wondered whether the the process of nailing the coffin shut could have caused the nail to penetrate his foot, but specialists said the nail had clearly been forced through the foot in the same way it would have been for a crucifixion. It's now believed this was the fourth ever case of crucifixion discovered. Number 12. Coffin Birth Pregnancy can be dangerous, even today. People still die from pregnancy-related complications. But can you imagine how much worse it would have been when we had no medicine, no advanced tech, and no idea? Many pregnant women ended up like one found in the medieval Italian town of Imola, dead. The 25 to 35 year old woman's grave was found in 2010, and she is believed to have died during the 7th or 8th century while around 38 weeks pregnant. She was buried face up and was certainly still pregnant when she died, but she gave birth after she died. When her skeletal remains were discovered, there was a cluster of small bones between her legs. The baby's legs were still inside the mother, but its upper body was already out of her body. Study authors suggest the burial is an example of post-mortem fetal extrusion, also known as coffin birth. This means gases built up inside the body, forcing the baby out of the birth canal. But that wasn't the only unusual thing about this situation. She also had a 4.6 millimeter hole in her skull, which was neat and and clean, suggesting it wasn't from an attack. Instead, it might have been drilled into her head as part of a surgical procedure called trephination. Back then, medical professionals seemed to believe it would relieve ailments like fever, convulsions, and intracranial pressure. While we can't be certain why they performed such a dangerous procedure on a heavily pregnant woman, it might have been to try to relieve a condition like preeclampsia or eclampsia. Clearly, it didn't work. Number 11. An Emperor's Mother's Tomb Chinese archaeologists spent more than a year excavating and researching an absolutely massive tomb in the Shanxi province of China, trying to find out who it belonged to. Located on the outskirts of Xi'an, the provincial capital of Zanxi, it is the second largest ancient tomb ever excavated in China. So, researchers were undoubtedly curious about who could be so special as to require it. The tomb covers an area of about 17.3 hectares and spans 1,000 804 feet long by 1,017 feet wide. Within it are 
archaeologists found two carriages that six horses would have once driven. These were only used by kings and queens within the state of Quinn. Did the tomb belong to a king or queen, possibly? That would be your first thought, but we finally have an answer. It belonged to the grandmother of the country's very first emperor, Qin Shi Huan. Her name was literally Queen Mother Xia. Zhang Tianan from the Zhangxi Provincial Archaeology Institute said the tomb was likely built on the emperor's orders and might help them solve the mystery of the first emperor's mausoleum, which still can't be excavated. Number 10. Tomb Complex in China Quite an amazing discovery was made in the Henan province of China in 2018 when a local chemist enterprise was trying to expand its business. Archaeologists found a massive tomb complex with 21 tombs, 500 ancient Chinese relics, 6 horse pits with 28 horses, the remains of dogs, and food vessels. It's thought that the tomb belonged to a royal family and might date back around 2,700 years ago. In the 6 horse pits, the 28 horses were found lying on their sides with dog remains, and out of the 21 tombs, 20 contained coffins. With so much stuff in the tomb complex, you might assume the scene was very chaotic, but it was actually quite organized according to experts. They said it looked like the household had a plan in place and a stringent burial system to follow. Due to the number of ancient food vessels, bronzeware, and ceramics, it's believed that the entire tomb complex belonged to someone with noble status. They also found four ancient Chinese cultures known as dings and four guis, which are ritual bronze vessels for ancestral tombs. Number 9. Intact Ancient Shipwreck Old wooden ships and boats that sunk hundreds of years ago are often nothing more than rotting wood in the ocean now, but not all of them are. A Greek merchant ship dating, dating back around 2,400 years was found off the Bulgarian coast in the Black Sea in 2018 that was, surprisingly, intact. The 75-foot-long ship discovered by an Anglo-Bulgarian team is now believed to be the oldest known intact shipwreck in the world. When a remote-operated vehicle dropped into the water, it showed the team that everything from the rowing benches and rudder to the hold contents was intact. Helen Farr from the expedition said it was like stepping back in time. The trading vessel dates back to approximately 400 BC and is believed to be in excellent shape because the water is anoxic. This means it doesn't have any oxygen. It's also more than 6,561 feet below the ocean surface, putting it out of the reach of most modern divers. As a result, it's not at risk of deterioration or hunters. Sadly, we don't know much more than this right now. It's not known what's in the cargo hold, and further funding is required to get it back to the site. Number 8. Roman Mosaic in 2022, archaeologists discovered something incredible at a building site in Southwark near the Shard, a huge Roman mosaic believed to be nearly 2,000 years old. Experts believe the stunning flower and geometric patterned mosaic would have once been the floor of a Roman dining room, perhaps in a Roman mansio. Roman mansios were upmarket motels offering dining rooms, stabling, and accommodations for traveling officials and state couriers. The dining room would have been known as a triclinium which was often furnished with couches for people to lounge and eat on. The mosaic dates back to the 2nd or 3rd century and contains traces of older mosaics underneath. This led experts to think that newer mosaics were added over the top during a refurbishment project to adopt the latest trends of the time. The largest discovered panel was 26 feet long and featured colorful flowers with a motif called a builoche. There were also lotus flowers and a Solomon's knot pattern. According to former archaeologists, Dr. David Neal, the mosaic would have been created by the Acanthus Group, who were mosaics working in London with a particularly unique style. Number 7. Nampa Figurine who would have thought that a clay doll could create so much controversy? It's surprising, but the famous Nampa figurine did. It's a small, 1.5 inch tall clay and quartz figurine that looks like a woman with markings representative of clothing and jewelry. It was also missing a leg. It was found in 1889 by a businessman in Nampa, Idaho, when he and his business partners were drilling for water. When they got down to 320 feet, they used a pump mechanism to remove quicksand and brought the unique figure to the surface. Initial estimates put the figure at 2 million years old, which would outdate humanity
humanity's arrival in the Americas. However, the general consensus now is that it's not two million years old, instead it's thousands of years old. Some people have also argued that it only dates back to the 19th century and was made by the Pocatello Indians. How do you just assume something is millions of years old as opposed to mere thousands? Well, it's all to do with how far down it was found. The figure was found in a sand and clay layer dating back to the pliocene pleistocene transition. The sand layer in particular was deposited during the early Quaternary period, putting it at 2 million years old. However, there's no proof to suggest the doll is actually that old. Number 6. Lake Winnipesaukee Mystery Stone We'll never get to the bottom of every ancient artifact we find, and the Lake Winnipesaukee Mystery Stone is proof of that. There are more questions than answers about this absurd artifact found near Lake Winnipesaukee in New Hampshire. It's about 4 inches long, 2.5 inches thick, and is egg-shaped and dark-colored with carved symbols on it. There are several random figures on it, including an ear of corn, a moon shape, inverted arrows, a spiral, and some dots. Interestingly, there is also a hole that seems to have been bored from both ends and goes right through the top to the bottom. According to reports, workers digging fence post holes found the stone in Meredith, New Hampshire, in 1872. The businessman who hired the workers Seneca Ladd was credited for the discovery. When he died in 1892, the stone went to one of his daughters, and she donated it to the New Hampshire Historical Society in 1927. It remains on display at the Museum of New Hampshire History. Some experts think the stone might have commemorated a treaty between tribes, while others believe it's a thunderstone, which are stone tools used to protect a person. In 1994, an analysis of the hole in the stone revealed that it looked like power tools had been used to create it in the 19th or 20th century. Number 5. The Antikythera Mechanism you might think we're the first people to have computers, but we're not. Our ancient ancestors had very basic versions of them. Of course, they weren't powered by electricity and batteries, but they were once used to predict eclipses and astronomical positions. An example of these computers is the Antikythera Mechanism, an ancient Greek hand-powered orrery believed to be the oldest known analog computer. Not only was it used to determine eclipses and astronomical positions years in advance, but it might have also been used to track athletic games like the ancient Olympic Games. The Antikythera mechanism was found on a shipwreck off the Greek island of Antikythera, hence its name. In 1910, archaeologist Valerios Stias identified it as having a gear in 1902, and it was housed inside a wooden framed case. The mechanism was found as one big lump, as you might expect after so many years under the water, but it was separated into three fragments and, later, into 82 pieces during conservation work. Four of the fragments were determined to have gears, and inscriptions were found on several of them. The largest of the gears had an incredible 223 teeth. After further research, it was found that the mechanism would have been designed and built by Greek scientists and used around 87 BC to 205 BC, or somewhere in between. Number 4. The Koshno Stone Protecting ancient artifacts is hard work, especially if you can't remove them from where they're found. Leave them exposed, and they're at the risk of environmental damage and vandalism. That's why you won't see the Koshno Stone, even if you visit it in person in Fifley, West Dumbartonshire, in Scotland. The absolutely massive 42 by 26 foot Bronze Age rocker with cup and ring markings and 90 carved indentations in total was discovered in 1887 by Reverend James Harvey. It was covered up and removed from the public eye in 1965 to protect it. It was uncovered again in 2015 to investigate it during a three day dig before being covered again and uncovered once more the year later, only to be covered again. In the future, there are plans to create a replica of it and display it on the top so people can enjoy it without ruining the real thing. It's thought to be one of the finest petroglyphs in Scotland, so you can understand why we want to preserve it for as long as possible. While there are at least 17 panels of rock art in the area, the Koshno Stone is the most extensive by far. Number 3. Saqqara Necropolis Discovery 
It can sometimes seem like the more archaeologists uncover in Egypt, the less there is to discover. There might come a time where we just stop finding things, but it doesn't seem to be happening anytime soon. One of the most recent discoveries in the Saqqara necropolis in Egypt was a biggie. Archaeologists found 250 sarcophagi containing well-preserved mummies, 150 bronze statues of gods and goddesses, and various antiquities. They were discovered near Cairo and were showcased at the foot of the step pyramid of Diosa, around 15 miles from the Egyptian capital. Many of the antiquities were used in rituals for Isis, the goddess of fertility. They all date back to the late period around 500 BC. After being put on temporary display, the artifacts were moved to a permanent exhibit at the Grand Egyptian Museum, which was still under construction near the Geyser Pyramids. Number 2. Viking Poo You'd be turning in your grave in embarrassment if, hundreds of years after you died, someone found your poo and shared it with the world. But one Viking's poo is now on display for the world to see, and it's a very important bowel movement. Plenty of artifacts have been found in York, England. The city has existed in various forms for more than 2,000 years and dates back to Roman times, so it's not out of the question to find plenty of old things. But the poo, which has a much fancier name of Lloyd's Bank Coprolite is the largest fossilized human poo ever discovered and only answers and also answers many questions about York. It was discovered in 1972 when a new bank branch was being established on Pavement Street. As the foundations were being created, work had to stop as various Viking artifacts were found. The poo was one of them. It measured 8 inches long and 2 inches wide and dated back to the 9th century AD. The reason it lasted all these years is that much of the soil in York has no oxygen and is waterlogged. As a result, plenty of centuries-old waste remains intact. So what did we learn from the poop? Well, the Vikings was likely very constipated. It also didn't have any seeds or pits in it, so they wouldn't have consumed many fruits or vegetables. The huge number of whipworm and moreworm eggs also suggests the Viking living standards weren't great, and they had an issue with gut parasites. Number 1. Pyramid Builder Tombs for some reason, many people seem to think that the people who built the pyramids in Egypt were enslaved. Hollywood movies might be to blame for that belief, but they weren't, and the tombs found near the pyramids are likely proof of that. An archaeological team found many new tombs belonging to people who worked on the Khufu and the Khafre pyramids. The tombs were built beside the King's Pyramid, which wouldn't have happened if they had been enslaved. No one would have allowed it. One of the tombs is believed to belong to a man called Aidu. It's a rectangular structure with an outer casing of mud brick covered in plaster. Inside are multiple burial shafts with white limestone. More were found west of Aidu's tomb, and these ones featured mud bricks with many burial shafts containing skeletons and shards of pottery. Research teams also found evidence to suggest families sent buffalo and sheep to the plateau daily to feed the workers. A high-protein diet would have been necessary for all that back-breaking labor. I can't imagine how I'd feel if I dug up an ancient shipwreck, a grave, or some ancient artifacts not seen for a thousand years. It would be shocking, to say the least. If you've ever been digging in the ground for whatever reason, have you found anything interesting? Maybe some fossilized poo? If so, what was it? Share your story in the comments. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen now. We'll see you next time then, folks. This is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good one.